In this video, we're going to do um, homework 8.2, form K. And again, as of about 2.30, I've only had two questions on this problem. On this um, homework, it was problems number 5 and 8. So let's take a look quickly here at number 5. Again, this is your worst case scenario because um, obviously it's like we've been dealing with it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. But I've given you the hypotenuse. I'm asking for a leg. So if you go to your table, or if you make your table rather, x, x, x radical 2, the x's represent your legs, x radical 2 is your hypotenuse, okay? So, I've given you 44 as the hypotenuse, and this is one of the ones that the answer that they give you is going to be different, because I'm allowing you to not do the full um, rationalization of the denominator. Um, so, nonetheless, to solve for x, all we're going to do is we're going to simply divide both sides by radical 2. So these cancel out. x is equal to 44 over radical 2. This is the answer that you're accepted to have. The reason why the answer is what it is is you need to rationalize your denominator and multiply your answer by radical 2 over radical 2, which would give you 44 radical 2 over Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. Divide that out. That's how they get their answer. That's how you would be if we were face-to-face. -face. We expected of you to do your work to show me um, to get the right answer. But because we are all online, this is the answer I'll accept for that. Lastly, number 8. Um, this is similar to a couple of questions I had on form G. I'm um, a square has a side length of 11 radical 2. They want to know what the length is of the diagonal. So as I said in the other video, um, all squares, when you cut them in half, create 45, 45, 90 triangles. So I'm just going to ignore the fact that it's even a square, and I'm just going to draw my 45, 45, 90 triangle. And I know that one of the legs, because if I were to continue to draw that square, the legs would be the side length, which is 11 radical 2. Well, if we go to make our table, x, x, x radical 2, we know our legs, or our x's, are 11 radical 2. So just because there's a radical 2 in this does not assume or guarantee that it's the hypotenuse. It's where the figure is um, actually, where the value is actually given to you on the figure. It's on the leg, so it is a leg. Okay? Well, my rule tells me that to find the hypotenuse, I take whatever the leg is, and the leg is 11 radical 2, and I multiply that by radical 2. This was your leg, you need to multiply whatever your leg is times radical 2, okay? When I do that, the 11 doesn't change, and I have radical 2 times radical 2, which is really, again, the 11 doesn't change. 11, I'm sorry, radical 2 times radical 2 is simply just radical 4. So you have 11 times radical 4, but the square root of 4 is 2, and 11 times 2 is 22. So that's how they got their answer for that one. Again, if you have any questions, email me, slanderE at nhsd.net. Otherwise, have a fantastic afternoon.